Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is long pressed name. Okay. So you're given that you have a friend who is typing his name in a keyboard. Sometimes when they are typing a character C, they type that particular key and it might get hold for a pretty long amount of time. And thus that particular character is typed more than one time. Okay. Now your like your question is to examine that you are given the typed character that it what it is actually typed and you are also given that what is the name that I want to write. Okay. So because the friend is writing a name and there's also a typed character like what is what he actually typed out. You just have to tell that whether this typed is actually inferred from this name or this is actually wrong. In simple terms, whether let's say that this is Alex and this is A A L E E X. So what you are actually trying to say is that maybe when he's trying to write on Alex, he has pressed A a long time and it has make A two times. Then L is typed one again. Then he might, when he's typing E, he might have pressed E a little longer so that two times E is pressed and then X, it is perfect. So, so you have got this type, but it is inferring from this Alex. That is fine. But let's let if you find out this, what you can see is that the name is S A E E D. Okay. Now what you can see is that S when he's writing S, he might have pressed S for pretty long. So it is coming out S A students. Then when he is typing A, A is typed pretty long. So it has come two times. Okay. Then he might be pressing E. When he pressed E, there is only one E. But then he again pressed E. But there is no more E again. Hope you get the point what is trying to say here is that the words in this name should be there but it can happen that it might be pressed too long so that there are multiple occurrences but it cannot it should not be happening that if there are two e's here that it had be two e's but there is only one e that is that is wrong okay so that's how you have to check it out so the very simple observation which i comes by just saying is that for every word what I can do is I have in the typed sentence, I will have to shrink it. Okay. By shrink it, what I mean by this is I have to somehow get it to the very smallest that if I typing out this name, what is the character and its occurrence? So A and how much it is typed, L how much types, E how much it is typed. So because it is, it should be typed, let's say two times, but it is typed five times, which means that it is long pressed. So I have to somehow get how much long press this E should like it is long pressed too. Let's say I want two E's and I've got five E's that is fine. But if I want two E's and I only get one E's, then it is bad. So I should be getting a frequency of every of these character in the particular order. So uh, in the name as well in type sentence and I just compare them all. Okay, that whether I can like the frequency of the word in this typed name should be greater than or equal to the frequency of the character in this actual name and in the same order as well. Nothing much here to be uh, thought about here. That is one of the code parts so that it will become more clear to you. Nothing much difficult as of now. So what I've done is that I have written a convert function. This convert function will shorten the string by checking that what all are continuous segment of characters are there and shortening them into one character and also writing down how much time it has occurred. What I mean by this is let's say this A A L E E X A A L E E X is converted to this function to Alex only. But how much time A has occurred two times? How much time L has occurred one time? How much time E has occurred two times? X has occurred one time. So this this particular string is converted to this format. This new string with the frequency of how much characters it has occurred on. Okay, so let's say A has occurred two times, L has occurred one time, E has occurred two times, X has occurred one time. So I have let's say like uh, shrinking the knowledge of the string into a smaller information so that it can be used for matching out the typed string and the actual string. There are multiple options or multiple approaches to solve this problem out but I have thought to use this. So I've used this convert function to convert this particular string into a pair of string, the actual modified string and a vector which throws out the occurrence of those characters at a particular instant. So I will tell you how this convert function will work, but I will get these two strings. So let's say I have these two things. So S A E D. So let's take this example only. So my first string was S A E E D and the next string was S S 
a a e d d so this string will be converted to s a e d only one occurrence of those characters followed by their like how much time it has occurred so in the original string so it has occurred s has occurred one time a has occurred one time e has occurred two times and d has occurred one time so this is the short form of the first string that i want the name string now i'll use the same function to convert the short form of this string as well so it will be also converted to s a e d but s should be occurred two times e like a should be occurred two times e one time and d two times now what you can observe is that i actually want this string but i got this string so from this string if i want to backtrack to this string what i want is that every character in this string should be greater than or equal to this numbers because then only i can backtrack to this because let's say if i have two s's and i want one s i can just delete out so if this is more this number is more then it is fine but if it is less i cannot backtrack to the original string that i want so if this is two is greater than this number that is fine two is greater than this number that's fine one is more than this number that is wrong because i have only one e here but i want two e's that is false so i can directly get out what is the contradiction and i can just say so what we have done is that if the two strings that we have formed after conversion this seed and seed if they are not same then it is already bad string because i have shortened them to most smallest form these two strings should be same if they are not same then it is already bad okay because then uh, whatever frequency they might be having but the character should be same now nah? so if they are not same then the answer is already false that they should not be converted back to this original string if they are same we will iterate over any of these strings okay because if they are same we will check that if the ith character on the first string and the second string are same they will always be remaining same you can just remove of this condition as well okay but what i'll do is that in the second so name data okay so there is name data and the type data so the actual name string so if the name string okay that i want if it is less than the type data okay so we have typed this string it has more frequency then it is fine because then we can just go around we can just delete out some characters from this type data to get the name data so if this is part is larger then or larger than equal to this name name data we just continue on we'll keep on doing it but if it is smaller then we just return false that this is bad and if this for loop continuously uh, move around without hitting this false condition and answer is true because for every character in the type data the frequency is larger from from the which i want in the name data so i can just print now how this convert function work what we'll do is that we just iterate over this whole string one by one and we just make a vector of count of how much time a particular character is counted like occurred we just initialize with one and just check that whether a particular character is equal so we want to build an answer vector as well okay so let's say answer string so what i'll do is that i'll just take the current character that is a let's say in this type string a and i just push that in the answer character and just check that whether the next character is also equal to the answer the last character if they are same which means that they are continuously building out so let's say i have how this convert function is working or let's just check it out in a very small manner uh it will let's say i have a string that is a a s s s d okay i i have to build a shortened form of the string so i will first push a inside the string that is a that should be building out if i want to put the next next word that is also a then it is bad because i want only single occurrence so i will not enter a word that is equal to the last character that we have just inserted so i will just make it i will not insert it but because it is same i will increment the frequency that it has occurred two times maybe it has occurred three times but when i want to insert s then which means that this particular segment is free like finished and then i will insert the next character and start counting out how much time this character is i want to insert in the back but it is already present so i will just increment the count okay and thus i will get the count as well as the unique words so i will just push back if they are if they are not same i will just increment so what i'll do is that if the the last character that is already present in the answer string is not equal to the string i want character i want to insert then i will just insert that make my total one because i want to start a new segment and i just want to make my uh, answer push that in a new character and the count is also pushed because the particular frequency of how much that particular character is stored stored in count or else we'll just increment my total that this is forming a continuous stretch of words or a segment of the same type uh, words of same type aa so we'll just increment my total and in the end we have a total string that is a new uh, string that is only occurring of singling like only have the words of single type as well as the count of those stored in vector as a count vector
So that's it. You can also pause this video and try to see over this convert function, how this actually iterate over the whole string and just convert the string in the shortest form with the frequencies in this table. That's the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem. I love to see your code as well in the description of this particular video. You can share it out with me because there might be multiple approaches to solve this problem out. So that's the overall logic and the code part from my side for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for and bye.